The Native Instruments Controller Editor lets you easily edit and manage your MIDI templates. Start the Controller Editor by clicking on the icon in the Controller Editor folder. If Ableton Live isn't loaded into your personal template list, you can easily append it by clicking Edit, Append, and then selecting Ableton Live from the factory templates. Note that you can always get help on any template by clicking Help and Open Template Documentation. This will tell you all the details about the current template. Also note that the controller editor doesn't need to be open when using templates. You can safely close it and switch templates directly from the hardware by pressing Shift and then pressing the page buttons. To set up the machine controller for direct control of Ableton Live, you'll need to copy a folder from the controller editor application directory into Ableton Live's resources folder. The controller editor comes with documentation that shows you how to do this in detail for Ableton Live, and you should consult this documentation before proceeding. Once you've copied the appropriate folder per the documentation, launch Ableton Live and go into its preferences. Go to the MIDI Sync tab and select the Machine Controller as the control surface. Also set the Input and Output dropdowns to the Machine Controller. Then you're ready to go. Now here I have Machine running in MIDI control mode with the Ableton Live template. We have specially programmed this template for a high level of interactivity with Ableton's channels and session view clips. Live's channels are already mapped and there's no need to make any assignments. A few basic pages are implemented. Here we have the mute page where you can mute individual channels and adjust the volume for each channel. There's also a separate page where you can solo channels and pan them. You also have a record button for every channel, as well as two sends. Other standard controls are assigned, like play and global record. But the real fun starts here. If you have the pattern button on the hardware controller selected, you can use the four blue highlighted buttons to navigate through your set, like the arrow keys on your computer keyboard. All of the clips in the set are reflected on individual pads on the machine controller. I can also mute single clips. And then bring them back in. I can trigger a clip. The appropriate pad is now blinking to tell me that it's playing. I can also add machine itself, which is on channel 8. And by pressing shift and control, I can enter machine mode so that I have instant access to the machine software as normal. Now back to Ableton Live. I can go into scene mode where each pad on the controller corresponds to a different scene within Ableton. I'll mute machine for a moment. Returning to the pattern view, I can see the clips that are playing and remix them if I like. Back to controlling scene. So this is a very fast way to navigate through your set and fire off scenes and individual clips. Finally, you can stop all clips by pressing the Erase key on the machine hardware.